That's right, a very special edition this week of Warriors Anonymous Next Gen. It is finals time for our Harold Matthews Cup team. The Warriors, they would travel over to take on the third place qualifier, the Parramatta Eels. Now, the Warriors qualified sixth, and they take on an unbeaten Parramatta side who had also given them a good hiding in the first round. So uh, they'd need to pull off something spectacular here to be able to advance to week two of the finals. Could they do it? Could they pull off the upset of the year? Let's have a look at the highlights. Thanks to New South Wales Rugby League. I tell you what, the Warriors got off to an absolutely flying start. This is in the second minute. Ball comes out to Desmond Laban. He looks impressive. And he cuts through a couple of defenders, brushes them off, and gets the Warriors off to a great start. A 6-0 lead. Parramatta come back. Little kick through. Gets dived on, but no. Unfortunately, the chasers, they were in front of the kicker. So we get a penalty. We come back down the other end. This is in the eighth minute. Hudson Frost moving up into the defenders towards the post slowly, like a tectonic plate. Eventually wrapped up there for Carwin Patterson to send it over wide to Thompson. And it's a nice ball once again. And this is Jeremiah Lemana. On to it now. The Warriors, they are flying at the moment. 10 points to nil. And a little breakaway here as well. Here's Lemana again. Scooting away before the fullback comes across and drags him down. But they'd keep coming. Coming in waves. Patterson back inside the a four. But he couldn't get the ball down. At the last second, it just came loose. So Parramatta would go on to the attack coming up the other end with Samuel Polly here getting the ball away to Rizzati, the 5'8", and he would find his centre. But look at the Warriors, they come across. They didn't want to let them in for all money. Great tackle in the corner to hold him up. And more attack for Parramatta. This is in the 21st minute. But again, the ball comes loose. Warriors ball, and they're going to take a quick tap. Halfback, Jack Thompson. He's got a quick mind and some quick feet as well. Scoots away over halfway and just brought down by the ankle tap. Otherwise, he could have gone away for an 80-meter special. And from that run, the Warriors would attack some more. Out it comes to the fullback. Ratcliffe, Joseph Ratcliffe, goes over. But unfortunately for the Warriors here, the referee's seen an obstruction just further in field. So another bullet dodged there for Parramatta. Could the Warriors get something before the halftime break? They come across to the left. Hansen, great ball again. And that man again, Desmond Laban, gets over for a double. And what a time to do it. Warriors go up 18 points to nil at half time. What can they do in the second half? Will they go off the boil? Well, not on this it won't. Cowan Patterson gets the loose kick and puts it through. And look at the bounce. Sits right up for Davidson for Iwasu. He goes over for the try. Warriors extend the lead 24 nil. Can you believe this? And still more attack coming from the boys. Where would it come from Patterson? Fast hands again out to Davidson for Iwasu. And he thought he was going to go in, but the pass was called forward. So, Eels, they survive. Still a 24-point lead, though. And it's going to take a bit of hauling in. Can they do it? Let's have a look here. Loose bounce. Never let the ball bounce. And it sits up well for Lincoln Fletcher, the halfback of the Parramatta Eels, to get them underway. They're kind of excited, but also urgent as well. And they'd still come out to Lori Marokosuka. The winger, Danger Man, and he would go in to dot down and bring it back to 24-12. Parramatta starting to get their game in order. Plenty of attacking play. Out to Bloomfield, the fullback, Rokosuko again, looking dangerous. Got some speed and footwork as well. 24 points to 12, what can the Warriors do? Laven comes up with a great ball to Lemana. Out it comes again to Ezekiel. Davidson Fa'iyawaso again goes in for the finish. And the Warriors go up 28 points to 12. Could that be a killer blow? Now have a look at this kick. Kyrus Booth slots it from the sideline. He went five from five in this game, putting the Warriors up 30 points to 12. And that would be telling because the Parramatta Eels, they would go for broke here. Rokosuka throws the ball back inside. Lincoln Fletcher would jump on that one as well. 30 points to 16. More ball coming up for Parramatta. Those two again. Fletcher kicking this time for Rokosuka. Warriors hold on. Parramatta, this is with three minutes to go. Still attacking with everything they've got. Anders Johansson goes over. He brings it back to 30 points to 20. 
and they're getting desperate. They're throwing it around, but there's a few gaps in the defense. Look at this for a big run from the front rower. And Parramatta, in the final two minutes, they're looking for a miracle. Rizzati, the 5'8", Bloomfield. Across they come again to Johansson, but the Warriors are there. They get there in numbers and put him into touch. And they will go on to hang on on this one. 30 points to 20. A magnificent first half from the Warriors. Look at the joy on the faces of the side there. They held on in the second half. They played tough. And man, oh man, they've pulled off the upset of the year. The sixth place qualifier come in and overthrow the third place Parramatta Eels who hadn't lost a game all year. Woo-wee, what a win for TJ Ashford and the team. 30 points to 20 in week one of the finals. And they will go on to play some more next week. Give me some more of that. Week two of the finals, they're going to be taking on the Doggies. The minor premiers, the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. So that'll be again at Lackheart Oval over in Sydney. We will keep you posted on details for the date and kickoff time for that game. It's going to be a huge one. That there is a prelim final, potentially to go through to a grand final for the Harold Matthews Cup. Who would have thought at the start of the year, the Warriors in their very first season. Man, oh man, exciting stuff. Can't wait to bring you more highlights next week right here on Warriors Anonymous Next Gen.